in light of the misinformation swirling in the public domain regarding the disappearance of Miss Sashina Patterson and her 10-month-old child, I deem it necessary to provide to the public the official brief at this time. On Saturday, September 9, 2023, a missing person report was made to the police at the St. Andrew Central Division regarding the disappearance of Miss Sashina Patterson and her 10-month-old child, Sahara Paulwell, from their home at 3 Galmore Drive, Kingston 20. Since then, this investigation has morphed into a very complex case of kidnapping and conspiracy. The quality and potency of the evidence amassed thus far has led us to take into custody four persons in relation to this investigation. One of those persons is Miss Lehoda Bradshaw, a 34-year-old petty officer in the U.S. Navy. The investigation is still ongoing. However, it is at an advanced stage. We continue to appeal to anyone with information to make contact with us. We also continue to engage our stakeholders. The persons in custody will go through a series of administrative procedures before formal charges are considered. At that time, an update will be provided to the nation through the press. DCP, usually you would wait until uh, charges have been laid to call persons' names to make a certain announcement. Just elaborate, if you can, why it was necessary to break from that um, established trend in this case. As I indicated, there's a lot of misinformation that is swirling in the public. And we think, in particular, with Ms. Um, Bradshaw, we have evidence that could, we could advance a case at this time. But we want to ensure that we cross every T and dot every I. And so there are a number of things that are ongoing. And so we want to ensure that those have come to a conclusion before we uh, proceed with the formal charging of her. And what, in terms of the prospect of the charges, are you able to say what direction the investigators are looking to move? Well, we are looking at a case of kidnapping. Uh, we are looking at a case of conspiracy to murder and other charges that will flow from that. And you're, con you're confident that um, you're confident that of the prospect of laying charges on all of these persons? Well, as I indicated earlier on, the, the evidence that we have is very strong and uh, will allow the administrative procedures to be concluded before we make that determination. As there, are, as there are legal issues that basically prevent us from saying much more. There are legal, legal hurdles, if I may use that term. But I'm convinced that we are on the right track. I'm convinced about the quality of evidence and the potency of the evidence. I am convinced when I look at the material that the evidence that we have garnered so far is very strong and very, very can stand up to any scrutiny in any court of law. And I must seize the opportunity to commend the people, the officers who are actually conducting this investigation. A lot of effort, a lot of, it shows commitment, it shows uh, tenacity. Um, it, I mean, they, it, it shows that they really have um, the, the interest of this nation and the interest of justice at heart. And just as how the family members have a desire to see a closure to this matter, I think the officers are committed to ensure that the family members 
they get closure to what I consider to be an, 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 a very unfortunate um, situation. One that really forces any individual with a conscience to cringe.